The end result is simple, but the process is very, very involved. About 200 miles of water main. We've got about 2,600 fire hydrants that we also maintain. That 200 miles of water main would be enough to stretch from Blaine to Duluth and part of the way back again. But before it even gets to the water mains, the water is first pulled from one of the city's several wells. We have 16 that the city owns. We also utilize the city of Lexington's well and we operate that for them, turn it on, turn it off. If there's any maintenance, they take care of that. But uh, with our 16 wells, they range anywhere from 225 feet roughly to about 775 feet in depth. And we do that to utilize the different aquifers that are underneath us. But once the water comes out from the ground, the city has to make sure it's safe to drink. So it has to make a stop at one of the city's three water treatment plants. Uh, purpose for the water plant in the city here is to give you better quality water. Um, Residents have some issues with, uh, uh, if we don't treat the water, you'll notice orange streaks along the side of your siding. Um, so we eliminate iron and manganese, um, give you a better quality of water, better taste, and better aesthetics. So the water leaves cleaner and clearer than it comes in. Water comes in from the well, um, in the ground. Uh, wells range in, in depth and size depending upon where they're located. Um, comes in right back over here in the, the water plant. And the water doesn't just come in, it pours in, at a rate of up to 5,500 gallons per minute at this plant. Running at full capacity, this plant can filter 8 million gallons of water in a day. It goes through a series of filters and some chemical addition. Everything's tested, treated, and sent out. There are four large filtering tanks filled with carbon and other filtering agents. The water filters through these chambers for eight hours straight when the system pauses to rinse the filters with clean water. Once the filters are clean, they start filtering again. Each one of these different types of fancy sand has uh, different capabilities to remove the iron and the manganese. And uh, when you reverse the flow of that, it gets, uh, washes off all the contaminants that they've absorbed and uh, allows you to repeat the cycle to continue giving you fresh water. Because of the chemicals in the building, each of the water treatment plants is very secure. The doors are monitored around the clock through video surveillance, a security system, and entry codes for employees. And the same chemicals that need safe keeping cause most of the questions that the city gets about the water system. Oh, why do you chlorinate the water? Why do you fluoridate the water? Uh, why, you know, why do you put chemicals in, basically? Okay. And I let them know that most of the chemicals that we add are federally mandated. Chemicals in water addition doesn't sound like a good thing, but uh, everything is monitored and tested, so there's no worries with anything like that. Once the water is filtered and treated, it leaves the treatment plant and gets pumped to one of the city's four water towers. This is the largest and the newest. This is a two million gallon elevated tank, they call it. We also have three one million gallon elevated tanks. In addition to that, for the, the summertime when everybody's sprinkling, we have a five million gallon uh, partially covered reservoir, partially in ground that we can utilize, which in the summertime we're utilizing that. Water towers work by creating water pressure. Most of the inside of the water tower is empty and it's just there to elevate the main tank. The water gets pumped into the large tank at the top and from there, creates enough pounds per square inch of pressure that the water can easily flow out of the tower and through miles of water mains to your house and up to your second or third floor. The city's average water demand is six and a half million gallons per day. Their peak on a hot summer day is about 18 and a half million gallons, and one day earlier this week, they pumped 13 million gallons just to keep up with demand. The studies that are out there figure about 150 gallons a day per person, okay. uh, average, and that's what you know communities set up for. At the peak demand of 18 and a half million gallons a day, that's just shy of 13,000 gallons every minute, or more than 200 gallons every single second. With this complex and extremely busy system, every part of the water system is monitored around the clock by a computer system at the water plant. That gives us the ability to 
set different levels for towers when wells turn off, turn on. Um, so everything's monitored 24-7 by that. Uh, if there's anything that goes out of your set parameter, uh, it dials out and we're able to address it and take care of it. For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson reporting.